Have you ever scoffed at the horrendous prices of branded centre caps and out of pity for your wallet you click onto your lord and saviour of cheap car parts to then think to yourself, hold on, centre cap is really just a flat cylinder. Surely this would be a piece of cake to design myself. I'm about to show you all how an idiot with no 3D design experience whatsoever gets this done. I've measured out all of the bits. So what I've got now is I've got the dimensions. So we sit here, so we've got them here. So we've got width 69 mil. Nice. nice. Height 20, taper length 10, straight edge pass taper 3, first notch 1.5, second 2.5, recessed 2.5, third notch 1.2. Third notch thickness 2.3, depth, and now I've written down the depth. The depth is this part down here, but that's going to change because this recess won't exist. I want this to be a, a flush edge because that's where the Honda logo is going to be going. And then the inner diameter, which is just this bit, is uh, 53.7. So now we can learn how to 3D design. Using Tinkercad, 100% of my girl brain and one 20 minute tutorial, I set off on my journey of becoming the next Picasso of wheel center cap designs, adamant that this one design that took hours of my life would be perfect and no further revisions would be necessary. There we go. So we have all of our test ones. This is going to be the center cap we're going to be using. So I've got five of these printed out. Um, you can just see the 3D effect of that H is just fantastic. It's quite cool to have all of these to kind of see the progress of it because I did have to go back and forth here yeah, about six or seven times to get it right. So this was the first revision and I wanted there to be a kind of ridge and then the Honda logo and then the little tabs up here. Now this was too big. Um, also with the ridge, we decided to just go with um, a completely flat one. As you can see, all the legs snapped off because we had to we had to just keep snapping them as we went um, to eventually a point where it would fit the wheels, and unfortunately they didn't. So this was the first revision. Second one was this one was just a trial, really thin, ultra thin with the um, the tabs, and we kept the dimensions. We we shrunk them by about one and a half mil, but didn't do too much just to see kind of how these would sit. And this is quite a flexy piece. So that didn't work. I think these are all PLA. Um, the final ones are printed in ABS. So yeah, that, that still didn't quite work. So then the third revision, I believe, this one, because this one's got the broken leg. So this one, we still needed to taper in a little bit. Obviously, I had to snap a leg to get this to fit. So that was the third vision. And then the fourth version was this one. This one was a perfect fit. So I think there was some very slight, um, we wanted to thicken this and add a ridge to the, to, the, um, to the legs just to make sure they clipped in. But for the most part, this was pretty much perfect. And then the next one was this one. This one I thickened up the legs so there was this ridge. You can probably see a slight ridge there. And that was okay. It did need a, a little bit of adjustment because it sort of jiggled around a little bit in the center cap. So this one um, we had another issue with previous versions that the legs kept snapping and they were too flexible and we wanted to give them a bit of strength. So we did this. This had way too much strength and we had to then snap things down again to get it to fit so this one was kind of scrapped. But we decided to start beginning to engrave the Honda logo in them just to kind of see how it would look. Now what I wanted is I wanted a recess so that I could then infill it with red. Um, this recess wasn't that wasn't that big. I think it shows like 0.5 mil thinking that would be plenty, but obviously it wasn't. So yeah, that was our next revision. And then this was our last one before going for print. Um, this one was printed in ABS. Honda logo, the recess on this one was one and a half mil. And that's what I've stuck with for the rest of them because that was what the printer was happy doing. Um, and yeah, so this was pretty much near enough to a perfect fit. And then we've actually got the final one. So I've got two already in my wheels. Um, and I'm not going to pull them out just yet. But this is the final version. So this is an ABS. So ABS is a more heat resistant. And that's, you can see the slight ridges on there. One design issue we had, which we did put on these was, as you can see the back of the logo, you can kind of see the Honda logo coming through the back of the cat. So we decided we were just going to space it out by about a mil so that we could print the Honda logo on and it wasn't going to have that weak point at the back there. This one felt like it was going to snap. It's very, very, very flexy, whereas this one isn't really in comparison. These center caps, they're going to be painted the same color as the wheels, so I'm going for the gunmetal and then the infill will be that Honda red um, Type R esque, but it's not Type R, but my car's ready to shut up. But yeah, it's super satisfying to actually see, you know, 
albeit what was a, a pretty terrible design on my part, but actually seeing it in person, you know, I'm so, I can't believe I actually managed to design this, you know? <laughs> I know it's just a simple wheel cap, you know, it's not nothing too hard, but yeah, nah, this is just such a satisfying thing to do. And I've definitely been bitten by the, by the printing bug. This is the center cap on the wheel. There we go. Easy, that wasn't concerning at all. So the ridges there is just, there's an inner lip inside here that they clip up to, but there we go, like that. And we got some really cool looking Honda center caps, which I think are gonna look fantastic on these wheels. The only thing that I wanted to also print, but just honestly never got around to it, and um, I wanted, and I had designed some lips um, to just sort of like blanking plates to sort of block off the ones that aren't being used, but honestly, I, I, I don't really care enough right now. And they were just flat pieces and I kind of, yeah, I haven't quite decided what I want to do, but I almost want to have them kind of lift up and fit with this design somehow. So I'm not going to bother getting them done for now. I'll probably do that after the fact, like once all the wheels are done and it's on the car, then I'll look into it. But for now, I'm just happy, you know, <laughs> as is with the wheels. Even if these don't get painted, I think they'll still look pretty awesome. But yeah, that's where we are with the wheels. Next update will be of it getting painted. <laughs> And there we go, we've got the wheels all done, done by uh, James at Topline Panel and Paint. Massive thank you to him, just look. It's probably kind of hard to see in this light, but you know, it looks this gun metal, but in the light, it just shines out this bright silver and it's got a very like ever so slight blue tinge. So we actually had a bit of a muck up where we thought, and by we, me, <laughs> thought that factory C28s were painted, but actually they're, I think they're anodized. Um, so we had to kind of, James, the absolute legend he is, he managed to guess around and, and faff about with colours until we came with this kind of colour. So we had three iterations of colours. Um, the first one was way too dark, um, and then the second one felt a bit flat, and then this was the third one, which he just added a bucket load of silver to, <laughs> to get it to look like this. And yeah, I am so, so happy with it. Um, it's not full gloss, it's like an almost sort of semi-gloss, but I think it's absolutely perfect. And then the mad lad, apparently these took him forever, but he painted the center caps and don't they look absolutely amazing. Now one of them, yeah, this one, <laughs> it was a bit of an oopsie and I snapped one of the tabs off this one and then a second one um, upstairs because I had five of them. Um, one of the tabs has come loose, so that's currently getting some old JB weld and waiting for that to cure. So I might, I might sand down the tabs just a touch and I will also sand the edges down um, just so they fit a bit more snug. They do fit in. Um, but it is a bit tight and it's one of those things where I'm sort of sitting there going, well, maybe I'll only put them on once, but I figure I might as well, while I can, send them down. I did tell him um, to not paint the sides and the rear and he's, he's done exactly that, which is awesome. But yeah, like these are amazing. He said they were an absolute pain to infill the, uh, the red on the inside, but man, you can hardly tell. And it's just crazy to think that like, you know, <laughs> not even that long ago, I just, you know, I was looking at these on, on a computer screen, you know, and, and now to actually see the physical... The physical iteration of, of what I've designed is just so awesome. Like I, I I'm so chuffed. <laughs> but yeah, so we got we got those done. And then another thing that I did um, was get these printed. So 
These ones I actually designed in house and then um, got Greg at WRC Livery and Signage to print these for me. So the reason I opted to just design and get these printers printed was A, um, I have full control as to what material they're going to be printed with, so they're high quality, they'll last probably about as long as the wheels will last. Um, really good adhesive, the red is, it's like a bright tomato red, so they'll, they'll look so striking and so great. Um, and then I chose two different sizes because another thing I saw was I couldn't really find very much online in terms of actually buying buying these except for like, you know, the odd one from AliExpress. But one thing I noticed with the AliExpress ones is they, they didn't have that slight curve. They were all flat, but looking up at pictures, the genuine stickers have a slight curve on them. So yeah, I've given them a slight curve. They'll sit on there. I've got the bigger ones for the 18s, the 18s at the front, and then small ones here will go on the 17s. So I really can't wait to put them on. They're just going to... They're gonna look so good. <laughs> I'm so excited. It's honestly absolutely fizzing. Like I know it's I know it's really small, but it's honestly it's the little things. Oh, and another thing I forgot to mention. So we wanted to color match um, the red from this to be the same as the paint on my car. And so we've done that. But what we've discovered is the red that mine is is I think it's called Milano red. It's a DC5 color. Um, and yeah, I've just <laughs> it was quite hilarious to figure out that it was actually a Honda DC5 red that this car was painted. But yeah. Ah, oh, can't wait to put these on. And like that we are done and oh man don't they look awesome I am just so fizzing with how they look <laughs> ah yeah I really can't wait to put these on the car but you will not see that for this episode at least um, I want to do a full review re reveal reveal <laughs> once everything is put on so this the Sabon wing the springs then you'll get your review but for now thank you guys so much for joining in on on this journey and yeah basically from design on computer all the way to the real deal and it just they look so good i just can't get over you know everything every little detail i mean a massive thank you to james for painting in the, the center caps and the wheels themselves and for greg for printing out these fantastic stickers and having the absolute patience of a saint i mean <laughs> i mean if you saw anything from um you know my designing of the center caps you can only imagine what it was like for the for the stickers you know it's just it just completes the look so well and it's going to look so good especially on a red car like oh, i can't wait um this is going to be fantastic for those who are wondering why i'm rushing to put everything on one hit I've got a road rally coming up in a couple weeks time so that's why i'm you know trying to get everything done and i don't want to do the reveal of the car until it's ready we're ready to go ready to take this on 5000 k's it's going to be christened on 5000 k's worth of back road driving it's going to be so good that's why we chose uh some pilot sport fours just some really good rubber just to keep me going <laughs> but yeah thank you guys so so much for watching and yeah i'll see you next time where we'll do another car thing i haven't quite decided what order things will be you know released at but yeah thank you guys so much let me know what you think of the wheels in the comments below and i'll see you next time <laughs>